microphone stream along with the, um, the other audio stream this time. So I'll use that to uh, show a little bit and explain how to get this to run. It's relatively straightforward. It's a little more complicated than the other FNA games that just run after running the FNA file script. So um, what we will do here, and I guess since nobody's online, since somebody's online, I'll wait until there's someone watching. or we'll just have it available for people to watch in the archives. It's maybe better than just having a long uh, silence at the beginning. Okay, well, I'll just explain it then. So uh, here's the script running right now, uh, like FFmpeg um, with the script to help with um, the recording and We'll look at, this is like the stream statistics right now. What I want to look at is Atom Zombie Smasher is currently on sale on Steam. Note that I'm not using the Steam version. I'm actually using uh, the Humble Bundle DRM free version. You can get it from the developer's web page. However, it's $15 there right now. Um, here on Steam, you can get it for $8. You may need to add in uh, like a step library for Steam sometimes that still doesn't work so no guarantees if you get it from stream from from uh from steam um but since it's on sale and if you like have to keep an eye on this or if you might be worth checking out and it would be helpful for me to know if uh, the steam version can be get to run but i'm not gonna buy a separate steam version for, of this um I could probably test that at some point with the Steam key that comes along with uh, the DRM free game, but still, we also want to. Uh, I also want to um, promote more DRM free games, which are or, and Steam client free games because Steam just has this habit of like they define like where their things should run. So enough of that. Atom Zombies Measure. It's like. A, XNA, a mono game, FNA based game that uses one other library that we'll need to add in. It's about a zombie apocalypse or a Z apocalypse and a fictional Nuevos Iris in 1961. And you'll help them evacuate and defend and try to survive the zombie apocalypse. So this is where you may be able to get the game and then let me know if you can run it on Steam. We'll need this additional library on GitHub. You can download it and then uh, run it locally. Um, it's actually in the Atom STB subfolder. Uh, and I forgot if I just ran make or if I ran CMake. I probably ran CMake. We'll take a look at the diff in a moment. Um, just going back to the stream. Oh, nobody watching yet. Well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be on the recorded videos list for a few days for anyone who's interested. Um, now let's take a look here. Uh, so this is the diff. Apparently, yeah, I used CMake. I just added this additional flag to the CMake C flags, and that was all I needed to do to build it. And it's currently built in the build subfolder. And if you look what's in there, it's already been built. Oh, there's also a make file. Hmm. I'm not sure if I used it. it used to make for the CMake file, but it wasn't complicated. So what you get out of this is this lib atom sdb.so, which you just need to add then. So here we are. Um, I just removed everything so that we can start from scratch and we'll unzip. We go to data and then um, we can maybe just start by running the FNA file script. Just passing it the main game file for uh, Unix Linux, which usually just is a, a launch script. So it tells you, okay, you should now be able to start the game by running. 
which is not true in this case. The script doesn't account yet for that with this game you need to add in the atom, lib atom sdb.so. So we'll copy this one here. Now we see we have lib atom sdb.so. And now we should be able to run the game. Here we go. Well, I already played earlier. You don't get the screen the first time you launch, but we'll start a new campaign, which is what it defaults to. First, let's look at the options. You can adjust sound and music volume. It should be good now. I did some testing earlier to make sure that uh, sound and music volume and the microphone recording are um, match so that you can hear me and the game. Uh, here's a netbook mode for lower end machines. I haven't tested it. I assume it takes away some of the graphical effects. Uh, colorblind? Hmm? I'm not sure what this one does. Here you get some tips, some gameplay tips. Uh, I'll just get started. These are the default settings and this is just what I'll get started with. And we'll watch the Intro. Yeah, it has its quirky sense of humor. Uh, if you want to chat with me, um, use the Twitch chat for now because. Uh, the IRC, the OpenBSD Gaming IRC, is underneath the. It's covered by the window, but I have the um, stream chat on the side here. It shouldn't be in the recording. Recording should just be the game window right now. Okay, so here we start. You see, January 1961. We have an evac alley that they call Pleasant Fest. Isn't that nice? And this is the city. The city of Nuevos Iris with all of the zones. Yellow is our base, I think. If we lose that, I think then all is lost. Um, so, and random sectors get a Z infestation and you need to address it. You see the difficulty and you see the uh, reward for doing it and the population number. And the idea is to stay ahead of the Z invasion in like maintain control by having more people that were rescued than the Z. We'll see that after the end of this first mission. So there's a little bit of tutorial. We'll click here and then you place the landing zone. This is all we do for now. It gets more complicated later. So you want to be a little away from where the Z can get to you, but also lure people in the right direction. Let's say here, and we can reposition repos the helicopter later. You see, it like makes a sound when it touches down, and then uh, all the people run towards the evacuation helicopter. Here, down in the lower right corner, we might have the chance of picking up some more people without getting flooded by zombies, but. So first, reposition to here. Uh, I, I, yeah, so this is the whole game window actually. There's a timer that's the remaining daytime. The helicopter stays on the ground only for a certain time. With the right mouse button, I reposition the landing zone once more. I hope that I'll get another group of civilians in there. On the, in the right upper corner, you can see I have to rescue at least 10 for this mission to be like, successful, but the more the better. So, um, come on, people, don't be so slow. Oh, it needs to take off in a moment. Okay, well, this was not that great. No knights. 
coming in this season. Now Zeta swarming from all directions. And yeah, no civilians left. We get a B for bronze. We save 32. I had a better run earlier when I was testing. Let's see some tips. Yeah, I'm not sure about scientists. I think I never got that far. Okay, so, and here you see the victory track. Both sides are trying to uh, arrive here and whoever arrives here first wins. And here's certain events scattered across the timeline. Um, large scale outbreaks. Advanced technology research labs. Okay. We have an, oh, we have snipers called Ebers Vultures. And we'll sign the contract with them. Yeah, apparently you get scores for the territory that you control. Okay, so daytime is longer this time. There are random events that happen, it's different each time. So there's two areas now with infestations. Difficulty one, difficulty one, both have mercenaries as a reward. But you don't know which mercenaries. So that doesn't really, because you can't really tell right now what the difference would be. These two and they're both so far from my main base that I don't know if it makes a difference. See, we have the snipers. Okay, so we have set here, lower area. Let's see where we can. I probably want to put them here or here. I'm not sure if I can reposition them though. I don't think I can look at the ZPD. Let me see. Snipers. Long range rooftop sharpshooters. Call this with the size of the sniper. Firing lane. Okay, I guess the bigger the building, the, uh, the more of a visual area they have. I'll try this here. Take them on early. Oh, you need an aim spot. Hmm, I forgot about that. Maybe I should place them here. Hmm, this looks pretty good to me. There's also something about being where the zombies are going to move towards. Like here. This looks pretty good. This way I can try to position the helicopter near the area of the snipers and try to draw everyone there. That's what I'll be going for and I'll try to draw people in that direction. So, You can see the radius of the horn. This looks reasonable. Okay, let's get started. We have a longer daytime. Good job, snipers. You'll be killing a lot of zombies today. You can't, there's quick buttons, like with the number buttons, you can. The maximum occupancy of the helicopter is 30. See the zombies are already getting closer, so I'll reposition to 
here. Let's try to draw as many as we can in that direction. It's gonna make another sound. And a lot of people are rushing there now. We have another minute left more or less. This should be a relatively high scoring round, I think. And we'll keep the evacuation zone there right now because the sniper's got it pretty well under control at this point. Uh, okay, the zombie kind of one stray zombie blocked off that whole area there. So we'll have one more round. It's gonna be 30, I bet. But I'm not sure if we'll get much after this. Because there's like a few scattered zombies are getting closer. Time's slowly running out. Yeah, 30 is a full load, so that's always a good sign if you can achieve that. Well, we got 63, this is pretty good. The snipers continue to have fun. Okay. The heli earned some points. Uh, I guess this may depend on the number of people that you rescued here, 63, 63. And Snipers experience with kills. Okay. Yeah. We got more points this time than the zombies, so we were catching up a little, but it's gonna get way more difficult. that are left the uh, zombie areas. They get points for those. Okay, solstice again. So we need to try to speed up our process. I'll do one more and then we'll leave it at that. For those who joined later, which seems to be one viewer, um, I put instructions, I showed instructions earlier how to get it started the game. There's a sale on Steam right now where you can get it for $8, but I haven't tested the Steam version, I tested only the DRM free Humble Bundle version. Mm. I feel like going for the one that's closer to me. It's all the same still. Okay, let's try to keep work on the one that's close. Okay, so we place a few charges. Let's see. I didn't look at the entry. Okay. So we'll be demolishing buildings in Z. So I guess the strategy should probably best be to draw all those people who are up here down and place several explosives along the way there. And then use that to try to take out the Z when no more people are around. Okay. And Where to best place them? Maybe somewhere where I'll end up drawing everyone to. Like this. This looks pretty good to me. Okay. Oh, that's standing off on your channel 12.
I think I should leave this area to the snipers mostly. Let's remove this one here. This one here. I should probably start with a helicopter somewhere relatively central, like here. There's more people on the right. Okay. I'm worried that they might come through here, so I'll place another dynamite here. And one more to kind of protect the sniper area as like the last uh, hold okay we'll see how this goes okay the snipers are already working Okay. Ah, I have a feeling some of the dynamites might end up being useless. Ah, oh, people. Don't run away. You got a good position there. Okay, not bad, not bad. Great for the helicopter. I feel like a rival time. a help that shows up and just links you to the Z PDO. This is probably good with, to combine with the gun. Okay, well, flag 
we have you guys on board. I'm gonna fall behind, I think, no? Oh, I'm still eating, okay. Oh well. Increase helicopter speed. Well, a little story, I guess, to distract you from the disaster that's happening in the form of the zombie apocalypse. So we have a level two outbreaks. Level two outbreak here. Okay. Here's an explanation. Okay. Well. Okay, thanks for watching.